Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Today's session we are going to do on a material parameter evaluation for the hyperelastic metal model. Now hyperelastic material most of the time rubber is defined as a very highly non-linear material, material uh, model. It's a hyperelastic material model. Now most of the videos if you see on the YouTube or how we can solve this uh, hyperelastic material model most of the people you see give some constant like C0, C1 and there are different metals models available within Abacus is like a mono reveling, neo hookian, Ogden, po polynomial, Marlowe so so many metals models are available but whenever you have to use this material model you have to use some constants and this constants define nothing but a material behavior it is not a, like a Young's modulus or Poisson's ratio or elastic plastic behavior it is all those the the parameters metals parameters which defines the strain energy function of the material now how we can get this this particular parameter is uh, it's not very difficult but that is what actually we are going to learn in today's session so right now on my screen you see there is a red color biaxial rubber test data is there and then we are calculating the different metal parameter to have a very good fit corresponding to test data so this is exactly we'll do we'll do for planar biaxial planar and then we'll do it for uniaxial results so before going to that we'll quickly do uh, go through some of the basics so once you understand this it's not a rocket science it's not a rocket science it's just straightforward things but uh, we need to have a better understanding in uh, in terms of what equation people use and then how we can use uh, evaluate those material models so we are going to do introduction to hyperelastic material model this will be the lesson one and the lesson one is based on the evaluation of material constant so once you i you go identify how to evaluate the material constant then second step is you can do and build what your uh, rubber component and build the metal model but this is the, the the step one is get a right right material constant so that's what actually we are going to learn from this once we learn from this second lessons will do in terms of uh, some some uh, rubber compression or tension problem we can do it so typically hyperelastic metal model so it is elastic only it is uh, the hyperelastic so hyperelastic is the strain is this particular strain are more than 100 percent so this sometimes go to something like uh, 300 percent and it is like a rubber you hold it you stretch it you stretch it relieved it it will go back to original pressure original position so if this is this is 100 percent strain you stretch it to 100 percent it go back to original shape and this is what is called as a hyper elastic metal model so it's a non-linear elastic metal model so typical characteristics of hyper elastic metal model is material behavior is elastic it is isotropic rubber is incompressible so in hyperelastic it is incompressible but there are when you talk about hyperelastic material there are something like a elastomeric foam so if you have something like a elastomeric foam which are compressible so they are not incompressible they are compressible elastomeric foam is compressible then you have to use a compression parameter since this is a, everything is a non-linear behavior you need to include non-linear geometric effect now for hyper elastic metal model you cannot model this in terms of E or Poisson's ratio or stress strain curve this stress strain curve is you need to define in terms of this strain energy density function now this strain energy potential function is commonly used and if you have to get this 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 data in any simulation software like abacus you need to have this cij term so people talk c0 c1 you need to have this parameter 
you also need to give this D parameter. Now this N C I J D I these are the material parameter and this is also the function of the temperature data in case if you have temperature data for this. Now this first thing this is actually nothing but your this particular term define the shear behavior of material. So this is nothing but shear behavior of material and this is define the compression behavior. So when you say incompressible material this term here becomes zero. Then you need to only solve this term to represent a rubber. So then you can represent only with the first term then second term is zero. Now there are there are lot of lot of different terms uh, different material models are available like a Mooney Riveling and then New Hokian then Ogden you can you can use any parameter so that's what actually we are going to do in today's video and specific element if you want to use if you have to use solid element then you have to use a hybrid element so this hybrid element is nothing but you see there is H so this will be continuum 8 noted hybrid element this hybrid element is fully incompressible behavior element what you see in hyper elastic material so for them the, that specific application it is developed C3 C3 D8 H hybrid thing is there now you suppose as an engineer you have to do a hyper elastic material model or you have to you simulate a, a rubber material mo rubber rubber component or do some particular simulation of the rubber component then you required a four type of test you required a uniaxial test you required a biaxial test you required a planar test you require a volumetric test now out of this four test if material is incompressible then you don't require to do this so you don't require to do a volumetric compression test then it comes to total of six tests now once you see this is incompressible this term becomes zero you don't have to give do a volumetric test then in that specific uh, specific case if it is incompressible the 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 material deformation mode for incompressible material in terms of uniaxial test and uh, by actual compression is same so if your material is incompressible like a rubber now how you define incompressible where poison's ratio is closer to 0.5 you can say 0.49 you cannot solve with a 0.5 no solver will be able to solve with a 0.5 so 0.49 so for incompressible behavior the deformation mode what you get you your using uniaxial test data and biaxial test data they are same and then for specifically uniaxial compression uh, deformation mode and biaxial test deformation modes are same and for planar test it is a uh, tension and compression planar test are same so for rubber case it will then you have to do only three tests one uniaxial tension two biaxial tension and three planar test if you have all these three tests you can easily calculate the material constant within abacus it, then it is just a straightforward case now i have taken a generic uh, uniaxial biaxial and planar test data these are the generic data so this is not very specific to any material or anything this is a generic data but specifically for your problem suppose you are going to uh, you are going to use for your component you do one two three test get test data in terms of stress and stress this is your nominal stress strain these are not your logarithmic so get your nominal stress and strain so these are nominal uh, stress strain data now we'll we'll quick quickly go and then evaluate the material model so will open hypermesh new 
and then we'll calculate it now you go to material property you go to material you say rubber uh, you give any name rubber test then you go to mechanical you go to elastic and then you say hyper elastic now once you open hyper elastic it will ask whether you have test data or you you have constant or after test data you can go to constant so i'm going to say a test data and for poly polynomial equation we can do use it so suppose you select say mono reviewing and you say constant coefficient it will it's going to ask what is the c10 and c01 you don't know how to calculate that you can do one thing is there you can put this equation in matlab and calculate it or we'll calculate here so if i go to say ogden uh, and then it will ask me what is the mu alpha d1 and again depend on if i go 2 3 so that that's what actually it say it depend on the term so we'll go to polynomial we'll try to test different things then i'll go to test data so i will again i gone to material i given some name i selected hyper elastic then strain energy potential i selected the polynomial then you go to test data and then you say uni actual test data now uni actual test data i already put in excel sheet you can copy the data the, the type this data in excel sheet and then you can paste it so i'll paste it so i paste the nominal data then i'll paste this so i put this uni excel test data now i'll put by excel so i put by excel and then i'll put the strain value so you see the strain is almost like a 345% then i'll put a planar test data so i'll copy this is almost like a 400% so i'll copy paste so i put so i just put all three test data and then you want to you already you see it so for on uni actual test it is almost like a 142% what i have by actual almost like a 345 so i put it now you put it evaluate so you put a evaluation now evaluation it will ask source data test and in it, it we have this you can select what your base uh, you want to use and then it is going to calculate for strain energy potential so i i want to know what is a mooney reviewing constant for polynomial equal to 1 i also am interested in ogden whatever you want to have uh, marlo or you can whatever perf perfect model you want you can use it van der waals also you can use it right now this is a tutorial for you so i am just selecting uh, polynomial 1 2 and 3 that's what actually i want to look for and i want to start from zero so i am going to use component tension so i am not interested in compression data but in case you are in compression data put a compression data and then i say okay then it start creating a test input file and it will evaluate for me so it's ca it start calculating the material constant so this is what the input or the game for the hyperelastic material get a right test data once you have right test data then with hyper mesh different strain energy potential different material model you can put and get the constant but once you get this constant you need to calculate whether all these constants are stable or not sometime these constants are not stable so let's start with polynomial 1 so if polynomial n is 1 this is nothing but the your mono reveling metal model this is very famous earlier but now people use different polynomial 2 3 octane uh, rubber but this is the old old oldest uh, material model mono reveling with uh, just one polynomial and then you see the d1 is zero that means it's incompressible and then you have c10 and c2 
and the what did it say it's a unique shell data it's a stable for all strains so the metal model is stable for all strain in case it is not stable it's unstable don't use that particular material model don't use those constants so this case it is all stable whenever you use your test data sometime it will say it is unstable in say uniaxial tension or compression and if the deformation mode is say for example uniaxial compression and it is unstable don't use it for polynomial 2 you got a 2 so d1 d2 is 0 because it's incompressible but you see it's unstable uniaxial unstable uniaxial compression unstable all these are unstable only metric is stable so don't use this so polynomial tone don't use ogden you can use it ogden is all all stable now this is just data what you see here so you can just go and see the quality of fit by axial say for example by axial you see the quality of fit the red color is test and then different polynomial how the fit is you can look for a planar one the test and how how it fit and then you get uniaxial so once you run it it also generate a, uh, the input file in your temp directory or working directory so this is my input file so material input file for different so whatever you want to use Ogden 3 this is your the, the material card for to use for your case or in case you want to use directly constant calculated constants are in that file so you open a that file it will be in working directory and then you just go and see so for example Ogden with polynomial 3 you have this mu and alpha so you can directly use mu and alpha from here it is stable for uh, money revealing n is equal to 1 this is also stable so you directly have c10 and c01 and this is not recommended because this is unstable this is warning unstable so don't use polynomial 2 so this is a quick video mainly uh, for you so just to summarize what actually we talk so there are two things the step one is get material constant so this material constant is nothing but you calculated from a strain energy potential so these are nothing but your c constants c d and n number of parameter number two check what is a particular test data you have and then particular deformation node number 3 is a C3D8H hybrid element if you are going to use for rubber it is incompressible uh, behavior of the material so this is other some brief, brief. so next video we will do on the how to do uh, actual pro rubber model so this is the tutorial 1 for you to uh, learn mainly on the the basics of uh, material evaluation of material constant for hyper elastic material thank you bye bye don't if you like this video don't forget to like us and subscribe us and thanks a lot for listening to me thank you bye bye